Arlo, are you ready to make bird's nests for forest school? Yay! Yay! guys we're getting ready to head to forest school it's our first nature craft um, session of the year and we are going to make salt dough birds nests with some uh, natural materials that we've gathered from the backyard and um, different places and we are gonna head that way and I'm hoping Arlo cooperates. He doesn't always when we do try to do these nature crafts. But I'm hoping if all the other kids sit down at the picnic tables and get to work, then he will too. He, you know, wants to be like all the other older kids, obviously. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Arlo, are you ready to make bird's nests for forest school? for an example um, last night. now and um, we are waiting for Morgan to get home so we can go to trivia but in the meantime I realized I forgot to update you on how four school went yesterday and for the most part it actually went great I had all the materials pre-gathered all the balls of salt dough that everybody needed um, already divided out so that everything was ready to go and it worked really well. And Arlo sat down and he made a bird's nest and it's really cute. Um, I think it turned out better than the one I made. It was really pretty. And um, there, he, there was only one hiccup at the very, very end. He kept wanting to, we were in this big open area that had like a wood fence around it. He kept trying to um, run towards the opening of the fenced-in area and run out into the road and I wouldn't let him and after I stopped in three or four times I said okay 
it's time to go. I could just tell, you know, it was time for his nap. And when I went to pick him up to leave, he had the biggest meltdown I've ever seen him have. Um, and I know that's a combination of being so tired from running and playing because we did a lot of that while we were waiting for everybody to show up. So he played really hard and it was nap time. So he was tired, but I think he also didn't want to leave because he was having fun. Um, but I've learned from experience that when he gets like that, where he's, you know, purposefully doing, you know, things that aren't safe just because you tell him not to, that it's time for him to decompress. And so I loaded him up and it was the fight of my life to get him into his car seat. But I got him in there and we got home and he took a really long nap. And not only that, well probably about an average nap for him. It was like an hour and a half, but still he slept really hard. And then last night he slept in his own bed and didn't get like, usually he sleeps till about two and then comes and gets in bed with uh, me and Morgan. But last night he slept almost the entire night by himself in his own bed. I think just because he was so exhausted, he didn't come get in bed with Morgan and I till seven o'clock this morning, which was awesome. And a little sad. I kept worrying about him all night, but that's my problem. Um, but I was really proud of him and for him. So I've got Arlo dressed and we are just waiting for Morgan to get here and we're going to head to trivia. And I haven't vlogged much, so I think I'll try to take you guys along for some of that as well. See you in a bit. Yeah! What is it, buddy? Yeah! guys that's it for today's vlog um i know it was a short one got a lot going on this week preparations for arlo's party um but we'll try to keep you guys in the loop and we won last night so that's exciting and we were not sure we were gonna win but it ended up being like a landslide we won by like 15 points which is awesome um before I go, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and if you like these videos and you want to see more, uh, go ahead and subscribe if you don't mind. Click the like button or drop me a comment below. All of those things would really be helpful for me with the algorithm, um, and we will see you guys later.